This is a video that had to be done. <clears throat> Simping has been discussed for a while now. And in every occasion, simping is regar regarded as something bad. And with most cases, I do agree. But sometimes it is just and correct to simp when the target of your affection is worthy and has all the extraordinary qualities that struck you from the beginning. Now this video obviously is titled Simping for Tyrion Lannister. I've just finished A Storm of Swords. I've done a review. But I wanted to talk about I wanted to talk more about Tyrion in particular. And here's why. He is one of my favorite characters. And he is a menace. Okay, Tyrion Lannister is a menace. And more people should simp for him. And I'm going to give you the reasons why. At as I'm going to give you the reasons why he should be regarded regarded as a menace to society. He should be considered one of the greatest threats. Even Stannis, after being, def after being defeated at Blackwater, calls the imp a serious threat. Now, before I get into this, before I tell you why you should simp for Tyrion as well, I just have to mention this. Now, as well as in the show, early on, I think it was in a Game of Thrones, Tywin tells Tyrion, you know, I always thought you were a stunted fool. Now, this doesn't me this doesn't make any sense to me because as we know Tyrion has always been you know uh, witty smart uh, quick to response his qu he is quick on his feet and his mind and his tongue are his greatest weapons and of course he has always been reading books so the fact that Tywin calls him a stunted fool until this very moment shows that Tywin never really engaged with Tyrion. Tywin, from the moment Tyrion was born, called... He sort of pushed him away and that was it. Right? He, he looked at Tyrion from afar and he saw that he was whoring and getting drunk and he thought this this son of mine alleged son is a stunted fool which I guess is a possibility but it, it still doesn't make any sense right because Tyrion is always like trying to prove himself to other people to show his intelligence and he and his uh, capabilities and the fact that Tywin had regarded him as a stunted fool until that very moment. Uh, I don't know if, if it is an error on part of George Double R. Martins or whatever, right? But here is why you should simp for Tyrion Lannister. This is a motivational video. He defeats Stannis at Blackwater, challenges Joffrey, even when Joffrey becomes king, which is extremely dangerous, and everybody else uh, 
become ass kissers, right? So Tyrion is bold. On a couple of occasions, he even slaps the shit out of Joffrey, which is a plus, of course. He gets accused of poisoning Joffrey at his own wedding, wedding gets arrested, snaps because Shay is involved. He threatens the entire population of King's Landing that he would gladly give his life to watch them all drink poison. So he threatens an entire city, nobles and all, he escapes imprisonment with the help of Jaime. He slaps the shit out of Jaime for lying to him about Taisha. He goes and kills Shay, and then he goes and he kills Tywin Lannister, his father, allegedly, supposedly, the most dangerous and powerful man in Westeros. Right? And then he escapes. So these are some of the major qualities, achievements, and so on, which prove, without a doubt, that Tyrion is one of the greatest, he is a menace to society, he should be regarded as a serious major threat by everybody. He should be the Joker of this world, the Song of Ice and Fire. And I hope this happens, I hope he goes even more insane, because now all he has is rage and resentment, and a lot of time on his hands, right? This is why we should all simp for Tyrion Lannister, because the guy is an absolute menace, an absolute threat, and uh, I love him to death. That's about it.